Good morning, Event Ensemble. We'd like to talk to you today about Alan Berg. You probably know Alan because he's famous, infamous. He does all of the wedding MBA, all of the DJ. He does speaking and he does training. He's a business coach. He's a website designer, probably not a designer, but a critiquer of your website. We're going to be talking about websites today in Ensemble, but I want to talk to you today about Alan. If you are not currently listening to cataloging and keeping on file content from his free, I'll say that twice, free podcasts, you are totally missing out. Some of the most recent topics, I mean, it reads like a who's who for what you need to know in business. Um, his most recent as of today is if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And I can't think of a truer statement. If it was easy, everyone would in fact be doing it. Um, and as you know, they're not. Um, I can't tell you how many times when I'm teaching DJs, they say things like, well, man, I don't want to work that hard. And, you know, and as David teaches us, you know, regularly at CTC, he talks about those willing to do what others don't will have what others don't. And so there you go. That's that topic. And it was way more than I wanted to get into. Um, are you playing nice with other wedding vendors, event professionals? A true topic. As a matter of fact, when I did an open house just recently this week, it turned out that the DJ who was originally on the calendar to do that event was like, here's my invoice for an open house. And they were like, you misunderstand. This is, you come in, it's an open house. You do this for free. This is not something that you charge for. But he was new, not necessarily a professional networker. And he obviously is not a member of Ensemble or he would know better. Um, there's a time and a place that you charge and an open house is not necessarily that kind of um, environment. So I came in and uh, to the rescue, so to speak. Can you Uberize your business? Are you studying to pass? Here you go, Juries. Are you studying to pass or are you studying to learn? All right. And I'm going to skip down a few because he asked this question. We're talking about Allen Berg right now. Are you selling with your wallet? Are you selling with your wallet or are you selling with your client's wallet in mind? It's, it's a different, you know, I can't tell you how many times my wife says, well, maybe you need to change your prices, Scott, because it's too expensive. Well, yeah, maybe I can't afford me, but I'm not selling to me. I'm selling to an audience. That, look look at Keith. See, Keith is nodding his head. And so is Drax. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. So the reason I mentioned Allen Berg this morning is because he is coming to Phoenix in February. I am going to post details and would like to know if there's an interest for event ensemble members to participate in one of his lunch and learns or a variety of other um, training options that he offers when he comes to Phoenix in February 23. And that's my pitch for Alan. Thanks for listening.